I uh, hope everybody had a great day. It was absolutely beautiful here. It was a little cool this morning. It was around 36, I think, which is odd. It's been being nicer than that, but it warmed up nicely, and it's about 70.6 right now. So, beautiful day, ready for the spring and summer. All right, let's see if Perry's here, but we'll keep him on the list. That's who I heard earlier, um, or Sam had said he was in here. So uh, let's let's kick it down to uh, Perry, K4CWW. Perry, um, if you're there, make a transmission, WA4KM. Well, I wouldn't miss that for the world, WA4KM, K4CWW. Sitting here in Fayetteville, Georgia. Shouldn't get too Gabby, because as usual, you're going to have a long list. I got to talk to Mac W4AX sometime. Mac, I haven't had a chance to touch that 30S1 and my list in between where I am now and doing that is getting longer and longer. And I don't know, man. It's a good thing I'm, quote, retired. I get up at 4 to 5 in the morning and I got stuff to do solid till I go to bed at 9 or 10 o'clock at night, so. I don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna. I don't know how I'm gonna get get anything fixed in the future. I got a power supply started from two years ago. I haven't finished. So I might have talked to you about a suggestion on how how you do it. How you make time to to just to just do these things. <laughs> All right. Well, everybody. Howdy, to everybody. I'm pleased to be here tonight with you, and uh, pleased to get on a quality transmission here. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, sir. WA4KM, K4CWW. Well, okay, Perry. Well, you got a great signal coming in from Fayetteville, Georgia, and I'll go ahead and pick up Mac, and he can answer your question and make a transmission. I'll put a little dot asterisk by his name. Uh, so go ahead, Mac, over to you for your comments, and uh, you can answer Perry there, or maybe help him out. W4AX, and thank you so much, Mac, for all you do at the beginning of these nets. Um, I appreciate it for one, and I know Sam and the other guys do too on the other nets. Uh, W4AX, this is WA4KM. Thank you, Kevin, for the kind words. WA4KM, W4AX, and good evening, everyone. And um, let's see, uh, Paul, I did finally copy you, and uh, Perry, you know it's it's just uh, it's just time slicing. Uh, right now, it's you know a really busy time for me with with having to get the the yard somewhat in shape uh, for the spring. We don't try to keep a manicured yard. I just try to keep it green and you know not overgrown with weeds and things. Uh, you know we're up in the country, but I, I I do want it to you know to have some ground cover. But that just means cutting the grass and everything. So I'm I'm not having a lot of time for radio right now. Now, once fall and winter get here, if you want me to take a look at your, or, or maybe later into the summer, when the grass stops uh, growing so much, you know, I might be able to look at your 30S1 for you. Anyway, uh, thanks so much for uh, for running the net, uh, Kevin. Uh, you always do a great job. Blessings and prayers to your mother-in-law. Hope she's making some good progress and we should keep uh, Bob KN4HH uh, in our prayers he um, he had a surgery today it was outpatient he's out of surgery and 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 seems to be in good spirits and and doing okay back over to you Kevin WA4KM up oh, oh, sorry that's not the yeah that's the, that's the call sign WA4KM W4AX <laughs> thank you Mac yeah it's a pre that it, because it's confusing every now and then. I'll say that for you, my, but anyway, I, I don't answer to anything. It's, it's all good. And um, I did not know that about um, Bob up for HH. What a great guy. Um, nice to have known him for many years. Just a super fantastic guy, too. Um, and let's see here. Um, next on the list here, let's send it over there to Sam, see what Sam and Alabama's got to say about all this. My co-partner and they're going to be net control here in about 20 minutes or so. Sam, what's going on over on Sandy Creek? Uh, KF4THQ, this is WA4KM in the Tuesday night pre-net for the SAMRC. Okay, Kevin. Mighty fine. WA4KM in the Villarica City of Gold. This is KF4THQ, Daysville, Alabama. And everything is quiet and peaceful here. And I love it that way. Uh, I don't like things to get exciting. I like I like things to uh, be at the speed which I live, which is slow and easy. <laughs> but you know how it goes. 
I used to be a cracker in my time, but uh, hey, when you get to be 83, you're just thankful for every day you got left. Uh, so I just smile and go on, do the best I can with what I got left. So anyway, everybody's sounding good, I'll tell you right now. And uh, Mac, you're sounding great on that Mac and Blaster. I don't know whether that's the Mac and Blaster or not, but anyway, whatever rig you're on. Oh, you're on the 20 v 3 and that's a, that's a wonderful sounding rig, no doubt about it. And so far, so good on my A13s. This this rig is proven to be extremely reliable and efficient. And uh, let's see, I'm looking in my little window, and all I see is the glow of my fillers. I don't see any color on the plates of the A13. I could run it harder, but I don't see any sense in doing that. My whole idea is to keep this thing running in a, an envelope of efficiency. So uh, that's what I'm trying to do. And uh, while I got the microphone, has anybody got an old uh, Johnson 275 watt matchbox? I need the case and, uh, and the call assembly. Everything else is you know, just gravy. I, you know, I don't just. I, I, I love to play with these tuners, and what I do is I use them for interface between my solid state 7300 and the input of these 813s, and that would work real well, I think, with just about any solid-state transceiver driving an amplifier with tubes. So anyway, that's that's what I'm looking for. And I got I got some, but I, I, a couple of them are kind of rough and so forth. I got them fixed where they'll work, but anyway, you know how that goes. But anyway, Kevin, you're sounding great, Moab Villa Rooker, and uh, it's good to do the net with you. And we'll do as we always do. Uh, we'll, we'll go down the roster here and so forth. When we get on down toward the, the end of the list and everything, I'm going to throw the call to you there, and you assume the call and, and finish out the net. That way it, it uh, makes the control a whole lot more unified and, and smooth, a smooth transition. And, I mean, that's we're here to serve the uh, membership. And so if that's the way they check in, that's the way we're going to check them in. So anyway, back to you, Kevin. WA4KM in the City of Gold, KF4TXQ table. Over, over. Okay, Sam, well, that'll work fine. It seems to work each and every time we do it every other week. We'll continue because it seems to be a good uh, good plan. And, Mac, thank you again. I didn't acknowledge that my wife was in here earlier when she heard you say you were thinking about the mother-in-law. She's in here behind me in the other half of my shack. <laughs> and uh, thank you for the prayers because they, they do work for sure. And thanks for the kind words. And, yes, Sam, those 813s, um, them, that's a good, tough two. All righty, let me take a stand by here, and then we'll see if um, Lenny's here and then pick up Roy. Um, anyone else wishing to get on the uh, pre-net roster this evening for the SAMRC, please come at this time. This is WA4KM. All righty, I got Mr. Greg on there, WA4II. I knew someone was lurking. All righty, next on the list, let's see, there's Lenny again, K4HUM. Lenny, uh, check me in on the Georgia single side, man, because I know you'll be up there. Lenny, y'all, Lenny, God, I don't know how many nets he checks into each day, five, six, ten, I know it's a bunch, but uh, if you do that, Lenny, I'd appreciate it if you're listening. So I'm going to send it to you, K4HUM in Barnesville, WA4KM in the pre-net.
Okay, Lanny, I appreciate it. You're sounding good from Marshall down there. Uh, just tell the guys up there you checking me in. I haven't been there in a few days because I'm trying to get ready for the trip. Uh, tell the guys I'm checking in. Okay, you check in. Okay, Lanny, I appreciate it. You're sounding good from Marshall down there. Uh, just tell the guys up there you checking me in. I haven't been there in a few days because I'm just giving them a little bit of privacy back here in the other half of the shack room. So, anyway, all righty. Let's see. Next on the list, I got Eddie Brown down there in Williamson. Eddie, we missed you last Tuesday. Hope you had a. I don't sure what you're doing, but I hope it was something fun and good and nothing uh, medical. But. Uh, it's over to you for your comments. KA4AMI, this is WA4KM. Okay, uh, Kevin, thank you. WA4KM, KA4AMI. Well, if there's something wrong with me, you'd hear such whining and screaming, you wouldn't want to hear anymore. <laughs> no, I was just fine. We were just we stepped out of town uh, and uh, slipped down to uh, Brunswick and and visited Brunswick, St. Simons, and and Darian, and did mostly eat, <laughs> and uh, I, I verified that with the scales when we got back home. So now I'm in the not eating stage, but I'm still sneaking in a snack or two, trying to get it back off. Anyway, we're just fine over here. Hope everybody else is too. And if you're not feeling good, I hope you get feeling better soon. But uh, yeah, it's a beautiful day over here in Williamson, and. Uh, We've been riding around, rode, uh, drove, drove Miss D around. We was driving Miss D today and uh, letting her do her errands. And uh, it was nice to get out and ride around such a beautiful day. I usually just, when she goes into one of those stores at the shopping centers, uh, I usually sit in the car. And today I just had the windows open. It's just a nice little breeze and cool air. It didn't get hot or cold or anything. But anyway, uh, hello to everybody. A lot of good signals. And, uh, and Bob. KN4HH, if you're listening, we're all, we're all thinking about you, and uh, uh, get back in here real soon. And man, he he had his antenna up the last time I heard him. I think it was, I was back on last. I can't remember when I was on Thursday. Anyway, doesn't matter. Uh, he had a real good signal from up there. Uh, I think Mac went up and and uh, got his antenna up in the air, and and boy, he sounded good. Anyway, back to you, Kevin, and uh, hello to everybody. Uh, WA4KM and the Southeastern AM Radio Club pre-net. This is KA4AMI, Williamson. Okay, Brian. Well, you're sounding good, and I'm glad you had a good time down there in Brunswick and St. Simons. Uh, yeah, uh, the Wise family's all from around that area where the Savannah area are pretty close to there. It's a good place to be. And Jekyll Island is, too, but St. Simon is really nice. I like it. Jekyll Island's I don't want to say it's boring, but if you like to play golf and eat and be kind of quiet, it's a good place to go to relax, I guess. All righty, uh, next on the list, we'll pick up Allen up there on beautiful Lake Cheerful in Woodstock, uh, the alternate uh, week net pre-net controller. n 4 O Z I. I, Allen, what's going on up there in Woodstock, WA4KM? Okay, Kevin, WA4KM. In the pre-net, sin for O's that I am doing pretty good. Been out uh, changing some oil in the in the cars and got that taken care of uh, in the cool morning hours and uh, watering some of these plants around here that I just planted and doing that kind of stuff. And I'm getting ready to go up to Dayton uh, for the Dayton Convention here in a few weeks, so uh, getting everything lined up for that and uh, doing pretty good. Band's been in pretty good shape. I actually had a real good copy on Paul down in Hardyville, uh, WB4WCJ. I had a pretty good copy on him over here. So uh, that, uh, that's working out real well. The band's uh, around here. It's been fairly quiet. The noise level's been down quite a bit, and it's allowed me to pull in some distant stations. It's just working out pretty good. Not much else going on. Just uh, getting ready to... To head up to, to the Dayton Hamvention, uh, take the cameras up there, get some photos, and see what's up there. I know uh, I've been texting some friends of mine. Uh, Nick's going to be up there from uh, Louisiana. I texted him today. He said he's going to be up there, and uh, some of the guys I talked to in the evening will be up there from North and South Carolina. They'll be there. So it's going to be uh, pretty good. So we're looking forward to it. We're going to make a trip over to Bloomington and visit our daughter and then uh, head on over there. Well, glad to hear that your mother-in-law is doing better, and she's in our prayers, and uh, we, uh, we'll we turn it back to you since that's about all we got. It's good to hear you in there, Sam. You're booming in as always. So back to you there, Kevin. WA4KM. Send four O's at I. 
All right, Alan, you got a beautiful signal and audio is just fantastic. <laughs> and thanks for the kind words for the mother-in-law and uh, thoughts and the prayers. And have a good time up there in Dayton. You know, all these years, 30 plus years I've been a ham, I've been, I think, about every ham fest there is, but I've never been to Dayton. And don't ask me why, I don't know. But I always wanted to go, especially to the old one, but I guess that'll never happen again, so... Anyway, all righty, before we pick up Don out there on Tech Ridge, I'm going to take a standby here and see if anyone else out there would like to get on the uh, pre-net roster this evening for the SAMRC Swap Fellowship Net. If you'd like to get on the pre-net roster, please come now. This is WA4KM. Evening, Kevin. W4KR in the old Dayton Hamvention place has succumbed to the bulldozer. Oh, wow. Well, that won't, no, doggone it. All right. <laughs> hey, Sam, you're sounding good. And there was someone else in there with you, but you won. Who was the other station? K, I think that's K3FZD. I'm pretty sure that's what I heard or what I think it is. Is that correct? Okay, I did hear you fine. Okay, there was someone else in there with you. I don't know. If, uh, let me take one more standby and make sure that wasn't somebody trying to get in or if it was just a little um, something going on. Anyone else wishing to get on the pre-net roster at this time, please come now. WA4KM. Okay, I thought, um, all right. All right, moving on. Don, hold on. Let me, I don't know if you can hear me. I'll bump the power up a little bit. Let me see here. Uh, K5HFG out there on Tech Ridge. Don, it's over to you for your comments in the pre-net. Hope you're doing well. WA4KM. Got you, John. Now, I didn't hear. Let me try. I heard John K4VZS. Let me try Don one more time. K5HFG, John, are you there? Okay. All right. Yeah, you're light still, but you always get better as the sun goes down. So um, we've got we got you on the list. All righty. Let's see if we can pick up Paul up there in Hardyville. WB4WCJ. Uh, Paul, it's over to you for your comments in the pre-net. This is WA4KM. Uh, WA4KM. Uh, Kevin, I'm going to be in for you tonight. Uh, Well, okay, Paul, I heard you good that time, so yes, the band is getting better. I heard you solid copy that time, and, and um, good to hear you this evening. Hope you're doing well. All righty, that's, that's a good sign. The band is definitely getting better. All righty, next on the list, we got Greg. Greg, uh, WA4III. Uh, you missed Dr. John. He was in here earlier, but he said he would not be back. So over to you, Greg, for your comments. This is WA4KM in the pre-net for the Tuesday night SAMRC. Uh, WA4KM and the business of WA4III. Well, it's been uh, uh, sunny today and uh, kind of a little bit warm if you're out there do, uh, working like I've been doing. But anyway, uh, uh, <laughs> got about half of the yard mowed. I uh, don't know anything to say, but uh, uh, thanks for being there and thanks for uh, hearing me. Uh, WA4KM. 
Okay, well, you sounded good, Greg. And um, from Alabama over there, I think that's Hoover or Rogersville. I can't remember where Sam calls it a couple of different names. But anyway, all righty, next on the list, we got Mr. Stan up there in the Golden Triangle of Wahala, South Carolina, that uh, does the uh, net control. He'll be here next Tuesday. And I'm sure he'll do a fantastic job as always. Stan, over to you for your comments, sir. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, you and Miss Joan, W4KR, WA4KM. Ah, okay, Kevin. Good evening to you. WA4KM. This is W4KR. Hogwaller, South Carolina. Um, boss lady just walked down here a couple minutes ago, Kevin. Just came in and sat down and uh, so put her put her coffee cup down. So she brought her coffee cup with her, so I guess she's going to stay a little bit. Copying every, cop and, uh, uh, everybody I've heard that, 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 that's called in so far since I've been listening, which is only, uh, I think I started listening about, about 25, too. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, conditions aren't great, but John V's at us was, uh, was Q5. But uh, uh, I, I, I get the same kind of read that you do typically from those fellows down there as we get closer to, to 7 o'clock Eastern. Why, they're doing, they're doing better. Anyway, carry on, Kevin. You're doing a great job as usual. WA4KM, W4KR. Okay, Stan, well, I appreciate it. And tell Miss Joan I said hello, and the wife walked by and said uh, the same thing. <laughs> All righty, let's see. Next, uh, we'll pick up FZD, uh, FZD and then uh, John V's at S, and then we'll see if we can pick up some more for the pre net. But for now, uh, K3FZ Delta, over to you, sir, for your comments. WA4KM. WA4KM, this is K3FZD, good evening. Good evening to you, and um, here in Signal Mountain, Tennessee, outside Chattanooga. Weather is getting warmer. Um, the band is uh, somewhat noisy to me at any rate. And I, don't, I guess I don't have the greatest uh, setup for an antenna. I don't hear the people in Florida very well at all. But at any rate, uh, that's about it. Um, just back to you, WA4KM. A3FZD. Okay. Well, yeah, I'm copying real good out of uh, Tennessee. Good copy. And uh, everybody is getting better as the sun's going down, so that's a good thing. All righty, next on the uh, pre-net roster for the Tuesday night, Southeastern AM Radio Club pre-net. Uh, John, I heard you. It's over to you for your comments. K4VZS, uh, WA4KM. Okay, yeah, I heard someone else come in there. I didn't, but I was fixing to take some check-ins, and I, I was, John was done, and someone keyed up for a second, but I don't know if they were tuning up. But anyway, all righty, we've reached the bottom of this list. Let me see if we've got some more before we turn it over to Sam here. we still got a couple of minutes. If anyone would like to get on the uh, pre-net roster for the Tuesday night Southeastern AM Radio Club Swap and Fellowship Net, please come now. This is WA4KM. WB4GWA. Okay, let me tell you what I got out of that. I got uh, WB4KKJ KJ and uh, hello to you and Dr. Ron, WB4GWA. And then I got the other Mac, uh, W4MAC um, down in Tampa, Tampa Mac. 
All right, anyone else wishing to get on the uh, pre-net roster this evening, please come at this time. Okay, hey, Tom, Whiskey 9, Tango, Alpha, Bravo. Okay, anyone else? I think somebody may be trying to, I'm seeing them down below me, but I'm not sure. But anyway, well, we got about another minute, so I'm going to do my little thing here, and by the time I get done with that, it'll be time for Sam to pick it up. Um uh, Thanks, everybody, for joining us on the uh, pre-net roster, and uh, we'll be turning this over to Sam in Alabama, and um, if you want to find out what this net is all about, please uh, get your pen ready and go over to w4ami.org, that's whiskey4alphamikeindia.org, Oscar Romeo Golf, and uh, you can check that out. Dr. Ron does a fantastic job with that website. It's got a members list, and I meant to ask him if we hit 300. I know we were at 299 on the members, and uh, you can become a member at no charge and actually get a certificate mailed to you, I think, just for the postage. And there's a lot of good, nice vintage uh, radios on there and uh, projects going on. Just, just a great website. Um, Y'all want to check it out, go over there. That's w4ami.org. Okay, my clock just beeped at me, so it is 7 o'clock. I'll turn this over to Sam in Alabama. Thanks again, guys, for uh, letting me do the pre-net. KF4THQ to assume the call, W4AMI. This is WA4KM in Villarica, the city of gold. Thank you, Kevin. WB4, no, WA4KM in Villarica. This is KF4THQ, Dayville, Alabama. I'm assuming the call W4AMI, which is the official call of the Southeastern AM Radio Club for this net. And uh, great net, Kevin, as always. Man, your signal has just been wonderful. And I've heard everybody pretty well. I think the uh, the I-10 curtain is uh, playing games with us, but it loves to do that. You know how it is. So we just have to put up with it, smile, and go on. All right. All right, this is Sam in Alabama. KF4TXQ is my call, and we're operating the net under W4AMI, which is the call sign for the Southeastern AM Radio Club Swapping Fellowship Net. So that's where we're at right now. Okay, uh, first on my roster here is our president, W, no, K4BKC, Brother Bob, in Columbia, Tennessee. Bob, it is your turn, sir. And thank you for being there. Over, over. Woo, I spoke too soon. I don't hear Bob. Does anybody hear Bob? Nothing here. Okay, well, we'll just, we'll, we'll come back around, you know, t down when I run the rest of the uh, officers list. We'll put Bob down to the bottom of that list. Okay, next on the roster is our... Our Treasurer Secretary, uh, Eddie Brown, KA4AMI in Williamson, Georgia. It is your turn, Eddie, and thank you for your service. KA4AMI. WA4AMI. No, W4AMI. I've got... Uh, I, I don't know what I got. I got confusion. <laughs> I've never been confused before. W4AMI. This is KA4AMI. I hope I'm not confused. Anyway, um, we're here, Sam. I hear some humming come from someplace. I hope it ain't my rig here. But uh, it's beautiful weather here in, in Williamson. I'm hearing everybody pretty good. One or two stations a little light, but everybody else is sounding good. So uh, nothing really to report here. We're on the Gates BC-1G, listening on the 75A4, and uh, hoping everybody is well and happy. Uh, it's That's a report from here, anyway. So, uh, Sam, back to you. Uh, W4AMI, this is KA4AMI. 73, everybody. Well, 73 to you, Eddie Brown. Thanks a whole lot for everything you do for the club and for ham radio in general. And, man, the BC-1G is doing great. You got it sounding fine, putting out a fine signal. Okay, let's go to our uh, 
call sign trustee, Dr. Ron, WB4GWA in Concord, Georgia. It is your turn, sir. This is W4AMI. Hello, Sam. W4AMI from WB4GWA in Concord. Good evening to you and good evening to everybody on the net tonight. We've been uh, working around here in the shop and uh, uh, the electronics lab, as they say, and uh, in the process of restoring a BNK 1590A oscilloscope. Uh, which uh, is giving me fits because it has a lot of power supply problems, and I'm working on those slowly but surely. But nevertheless, uh, uh, getting it going. Uh, the bad thing about it is there's no manual for it. Uh, seems like B&K didn't produce enough manuals for it, and they're just not out there. I've looked everywhere. So anyway, if anybody knows where I can get a 1590A uh, B and K service manual. Please let me know, because I'm a looking for one, still looking for one. But that's about all we've been doing, Sam. And I hope you've been doing well, and I hope everybody else is doing well. And uh, maybe, uh, maybe the band will open up here in a little bit and let those good Florida boys ball in here, so we can copy them real good. W4AMI from WB4GWA in Concord. Okay, Dr. Ron, WB4GWA. This is W4AMI, man. You're sounding great from Concord. And, uh, yeah, we just have to kind of go with the flow when we're dealing with perception of propagation. It's one of those things that we can't control. We just have to endure. <laughs> but anyway, and I hope you can find your service manual for that B&K uh, oscilloscope, I think it is. And uh, But anyway, okay, let's see. That pretty well gets all the officers I got on my list. I don't believe I'm leaving any of them out, so I'll, let's go to uh, let's go to uh, N4OZI, who is the alternate uh, pre-net control for Tuesday nights. Uh, Alan, go ahead. It's your turn, sir. N4OZI. This is W4AMI. Okay, Sam. W4AMI in the net. And for OZI, it was great to hear you on tonight and sounding really good. Like I said, the noise level's down quite a bit over here. It's nice and quiet. Not sure why that is, but um, we'll take it. <laughs> we'll take it. And like I said, we're just getting ready to head up to Dayton, uh, getting plans in place for that. Uh, been uh, um, got hotel rooms all set up, rental car, all that kind of stuff. So we're going to be we're going to be doing just fine on that. And, Hopefully get some pictures and see some folks up there. And uh, I don't know if we'll bring anything back. I don't need anything. I've got plenty of projects around here that are staring at me as I speak, including a, a, a couple pieces of Collins gear that <laughs> need my attention and I haven't done anything with. I need to do that. But usually I do that kind of work in the heat of the summer and then in the, the bitter cold of the winter is when I kind of turn my sights inside and just let the, let the outside go. It's either too hot or too cold, so that, that time will come upon us before too much longer, and we'll get back to work on the car and stuff. In fact, i got to get some uh, capacitors. That reminds me, I do need to get some capacitors for that Collins. I need to do that. Anyway, I'll keep a lookout for your matchbox that you're looking for, Sam, and uh, I'll always uh, keep an eye out for that transmitter you want, and uh, we'll see see if we see anything. And... Um, not much else really going on. Just a quiet day here. Really lovely weather, and hopefully the pollen level is starting to go down a little bit, and that would be nice. Uh, they did have a ham fest last weekend up in Greenville, South Carolina, but I understand there was not very much of attendance. Uh, they didn't really advertise it very well, so it, they didn't get much attendance for it. So that's a shame because that was the first ham fest I went to way back in 1975, and uh, I really. Uh, Really sad to hear that, but uh, there you well, go. Times change. Sam, I'll turn it back to you. Appreciate you calling the net. Appreciate Karen calling the pre-net. And uh, we're going to stick around for a little bit, and then we'll have to, to get out of here. we got some other stuff to do. But uh, back to you, Sam. W4 AMI. This is N4 OZI. Okay, Alan, N4 OZI. And the SAMRC, this is KF4 TXQ W4 AMI. 
uh, official call sign. And uh, appreciate what you do. You got a great signal, Alan. You're coming in fine. And uh, next we got Stan, the alternate net control for the Tuesday night net, W4KR in Walhalla, South Carolina. It is your turn, sir, and I hope things are good with you and Miss Jones. This is W4AMI. Over. Okay, Sam. Thank you, W4AMI. This is W4KR and suburban Walhalla. Thank you. Thank you, Sam. Lady of the house shook her head, said, yep, everything is fine. I guess that means her husband's been behaving himself today. Not sure Not sure <laughs> what, what I did to deserve that, but who knows, you know, who knows. Anyway, uh, copying, uh, copying everybody so far, no problem at all. Uh, Kevin, I'm curious, when uh, when your turn comes around, I wonder I wonder what exciter you're using today. I was just watching you on the uh, pan adapter, and it looked, uh, looked real good, and I just wonder uh, wonder which rig you're uh, your uh, driving the amp with today. That's about it from here, Sam. I see we've got uh, 299 members. We're still we're still looking for number 300, but haven't heard him quite yet. Uh, back to you and uh, carry on. W4AMI, W4KR. See everybody next Tuesday. Okay, Stan, mighty good. Well, we appreciate all you do for the club and really enjoy what you and and uh, Adam do on your alternate Tuesdays. And so forth, and uh, we're just smiling and going on. And we've got reasonably good propagation tonight, so it's all right. We can't worry about it. And I'm going to continue on down the list, beginning with uh, W9TAB, Tom, in Pensacola. It is your turn, sir. This is W4AMI. Tom, you're sounding great from over in Pensacola. And speaking of Pensacola, let's pick up Brother John, K4VZS in Pensacola. It is your turn, sir. W4AMI. W4AMI, K4VZS. Well, it's good to hear you. A <laughs> band right loose there just before Tom. So, copying you all right now, you know, most everybody. That's been warm. Been busy today. Uh, unfortunately, I'm tense. But uh, other than that, everything's going good. I'll probably be going for the next few days. I'm going to be busy, but I've got some time to do so. Uh, other than that, uh, not much to say. That'd be 4 anyway. Okay, so we'll be that up and start the fall. Mighty good, John. You're sounding great from Pensacola, and appreciate all you do for Ham Radio and the AM group in, in particular. And uh, it's wonderful to have a source like you to lean on when you run into trouble. <laughs> Anybody running old gear is going to run into trouble sooner or later. Okay, let's go on down to to the swamp and see. Uh, let's see. We got uh, Chuck. N4OYT on the River Sticks down there in Georgia. Uh, it is your turn, sir. This is W4AMI. Are you there, Chuck? Negative copy. Uh, I guess maybe he R-U-N-N-O-F-T. Okay, going on down the list. Uh, next, we've got uh, Lenny. K4HUM in Barnesville, Georgia. Lenny, it is your turn, sir. This is W4AMI. Well, I guess Lenny R-U-N-N-O-F-T. Let's try Paul in Hardyville. WB4WCJ, Hardyville. It is your turn, sir. W4AMI. Must be supper time in the south. <laughs> But anyway, let's by any chance see if uh, 
Let's see if W4AX is still there. Mac, are you still in, in the shack? This is W4AMI. Yes, sir. I'm still here, Sam, and good evening to everyone and all the Southeast AM Radio Club. I was across the workshop uh, making some solder smoke and listening to all the great AM signals. And um, thank you so much for running the net, Sam. I'm on the 20V3 tonight. And um, the antenna is an inverted V with the apex up at about 100 feet, and uh, or 80 feet, I guess. And uh, it's cut exactly for this frequency. I've been been spending a lot of time with uh, with five big dogs. I go to the vet pretty often, and I've had one dog to the vet twice this week. She's getting older, and like those of us that are getting older, and I include myself in this group, her aches and pains are kind of catching up with her. A lot of yard work here and uh, ready for some warmer mornings. Weather's fine, but we should just warm up just a little bit. Back to you, Sam, and thanks again. W4AMI, W4AX. Thank you, Mac. W4AX in Paul Brown, Georgia. Always great to have you with us. And I'm going to copy old, uh, old Roy. Uh, you're talking on a rig that sounds as good as it looks. No doubt about that. So, anyway, appreciate you being there. All right, continue on down the list here. Uh, Greg, WA4III in Rogersville, Alabama. It is your turn, sir. W4AMI. W4AMI, and they have just a WA4III. Yeah. This, uh, this uh, uh, summertime or springtime. Uh, it's uh, kind of a bad time for allergies, and I've got my share of them, I think. But uh, got about half of the yard mowed for today, and it seems like that uh, uh, seems like that comes around uh, uh, too often. Uh, I, I mowed it uh, uh, last Monday, uh, and uh, started mowing it again today. Uh, well, that's a little over a week, but I was hoping to get a couple of weeks out of a mowing. Uh, I don't know if they make a chemical that will slow the gra uh, growth of the grass down or not, other than ground up. I don't want to stop it completely. But anyhow, that's what I've been doing today is working outside and rearranging uh, uh, the uh, uh, radios in my, uh, I call it my museum. And... Uh, uh, some of my dupes, I, I took them out, put them in the, up in storage. So I got about about 14 uh, dupes on my uh, uh, on my collection. But anyhow, glad to have all of them. Thanks uh, picked me up, and uh, uh, seems like the uh, as time go as the evening goes on, the uh, propagation gets better. Uh, 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 W4AMI. Thank you, Troy. This is WA4III. Okay, Greg, well, thank you for being there. Man, you're sounding good from down in Rogersville. Of course, you're up there from here. But anyway, uh, we're going to continue on down the list here. Next, I have Don K5HFG in Tick Ridge, Georgia, uh, Tick Ridge Mississippi. It is your turn, Don. K5 HSG W4AMI. I guess Don has R U N N O F T, probably to the supper table or something. But anyway, let's see if we got K3 FZD in Signal Mountain, Tennessee. K3 FZD, it is your turn, sir. W4AMI. W4AMI, K3FZD, Roger. Well, I'm here. Um, I'm hearing some of the stations better than I was. Still tough to hear the Florida stations. They're, they're real down in the noise to me. I just looked at the T QRZ.com uh, uh, site for WA4III. He's got a world full of radios. I, I'm impressed. At any rate, uh, I've only got a few here. They're just... Uh, sitting on a, a, a sort of a desk with three layers of shelves, and I have my shack is rather a s small room or a large closet, you might call it, 
Um, so I don't have a whole lot of room for anything else at this point. Uh, back to you. It's been uh, getting better here in the weather, I guess. W A W four A M I K three F Z D. Okay. Well, thank you for being there. And you got a good signal coming in from Signal Mountain, and uh, pleased to have you with us. All right. I have a theory about uh, old radios and folks that are gathering age as hams. And we used to look in the in the back of the hand books, you know, and lust after all that equipment we saw in there back when we were still riding bicycles and didn't have any jingle in our pockets. So we would uh, always want to gather up those pleasant-looking, impressive radios that we saw in the back of the handbooks and so forth. And so we that, that's probably one reason we like to collect them and have them. But anyway, you know how it is. Uh, fulfilling the dream. But anyway... This is W4AMI, Southeast Native Radio Club Swapnet. And last one I've got on my list, I'm going to look it over twice here in just a minute. I got WB4KKJ. It is your turn, sir. W4AMI. Good evening, Sam. Got a strong signal in the pace floor this time. Sounding good. W4, excuse me, W4AMI, WB4KKJ. But uh, everything went well today, and uh, we had a beautiful day here. Uh, nights a little cool, but uh, it is uh, just a beautiful weather we got in the past here. Signals are good. Uh, most of them are kind of okay. And uh, so I'll turn it back over to you, Sam. Uh, and uh, just on the Johnson Ranger, and a uh, little help from the L4B running a legal limit. Back to you, Sam. WB4KKJ. Thanks for doing the nut, bud. Thank you for being there. And you're sounding good on the Ranger and uh, uh, the amplifier. And uh, good to have you with us. Okay. That, I think that's the end of the list as I have it. Let me double check, make sure I hadn't left anybody off before I turned it back over to Kevin. Let's see. I, I think I got everybody. Kevin, if I, if I missed anybody and you got them, you pick them up when you take over the list. So, WA4KM in the City of Gold, I want you to assume the call, if you will, sir, and uh, run the rest of the list and close out the net. This is KF4TXQ turning the call over to KA, no, WA4KM. Over, over, and great job. Okay, I'll take it over here. Good evening. Now, there's a couple on here, but you got them all, just a couple. That, that's fine. <clears throat> and uh, let me, I think I heard Manuel here. Yeah, I can see we got Roy and Tampa back and, uh, let me see what else, Perry. But uh, was that you, Manuel? Uh, KW4KV, it is me, but it was Roy. W4I diddle diddle. But KW4TV is in here also. Thank you, Kevin. Okay. I'll get to you. That's who I was getting next is Roy down there. We'll pick up Roy. Um... Who else I got here? Roy and then Mac, Tampa, Mac, and Perry, and then you, Manuel. The way I got it. And then we'll pick up some more if uh, we need to. So W4I Diddle Diddle down there in Pensacola. Come on in here. Uh, let me hear that audio tonight. Uh, W4AMI. W4AMI. Uh, Roy and Tampa, Mac, and Perry. Uh, uh, John Riddle, this friend, was a man, and, uh, I know it's a man, and that's the way it is, and we just have to show up with it. We went to the bank today, looking along, got back in the car, and went to the grocery store. What do you think about that, buddy? All right. <laughs> yeah, but it's good to be here, they're sitting in the mid-joint half radio. And it's terrific. I'm talking to the man that gets typical justice, Jason. And it's the thing here anyway. And uh, so there you go. Well, I ain't got anything, Kevin. I'm just proud to be here with me. I don't know what to say. It's a grand old author. I hope you can hear this little peanut whistle this week. I'm running this uh, Mary Lou. I think she's 60. Transmitter, 
beautiful little track better I took ground as her seat down. She does a good, good job out there fishing, driving these old boat hooks. And uh, so there she goes. Well, Kevin, I can't turn the audio up on this track. I, I'm running on uh, B-104 and I'm going to go. And uh, this, uh, this Mary Lopez is out. Uh, I'm going to go so uh, I can't do nothing about it. I hope you can hear me on the phone. But let's get on the meter now, Frank, so there you go. Well, I'll turn it back to you, Kevin, with this little sofa. Uh, uh, before I give that statement, um, uh, uh, listen out for a bunch of lucky boys out there at the end. They took me a fool to die, so uh, not give them a hug again. Anyway, I'll turn it back to you with this statement. I hope everybody out there at Radio Land feels as good as I look. Now, to you, Kevin, thank you for picking me up, buddy. Lucky boy, I've never been a picture girl. Thank you, Roy. Oh, you sound fine, Roy. I, I, it might have been the band last night, but no, you, you sound just fine on the audio. And so good to hear you this evening out of Pensacola. And, and tell Miss Gail we said hello, too. And uh, I've been trying to keep Todd straight uh, up, up and down the band. He's a handful. <laughs> anyway, all right, we'll break with Roy. And always good to hear you, Roy. And uh, we're doing pretty good over here. I don't know if we're doing as good as you look, but anyhow. Uh, this is uh, W4AMI, and this is the Southeastern AM Radio Club Swap and Fellowship Tuesday Night Edition. All right, next on the list, let me see where I've got a couple here. Mac, W4MAC in Tampa. It's over to you, sir, for your comments. This is W4AMI. W4 A-M-A-C here. Uh, yeah, I was going to tell you, JZG was trying to check in there with you. Here we are Tuesday again. A little bit breezy, no rain. Looks like a good fishing day, but I was up there at the shop fixing cars. Didn't get to go do no fishing. Roy, I did a little, I got to tell you, that radio sounds good. Thank you so much. Try to turn up light gain or audio gain. I wouldn't do a thing, man. I think it sounds good. It's loud. That's where I'm at, anyway. Don't have a whole lot to add other than the wife's in there calling me to the supper table, so I think I'm fixing to head that way. Don't know what we're having. Doesn't really much matter. She ain't never cooked me a bad meal, so normally she starts calling and I come running. Uh, that's about it. W4AMI. Appreciate you doing that up there. And, uh, I see Ska Sam skipped me. I, I know how it is. I see how it is over there, Sam. I won't, I won't pick on you about it. <laughs> Everybody have a good night. W4MAC, back to you. <laughs> okay, Vank. Well, good to hear you. That, uh, that's a good answer because the missus might be listening. And that now, I never cooked a bad meal. Good answer. <laughs> All righty. Uh, good to hear you, too. Uh, out of Tampa. Okay, next on the list, let me look here. I'm scratching people off as I go. We got to pick up Perry. Uh, he he was in there. Uh, if he's still there, K4, and he's in Fayetteville, I think he said earlier. K4CWW, Perry, are you still there? This is W4AMI. Hey, absolutely. W4AMI, K4CWW. All right. Been enjoying uh, listening to everybody tonight. Uh, heard uh, KA4 AMI talking about going over to Brunswick. My son Will was living in Brunswick when he got diagnosed with cancer down at the clinic in the Mayo Clinic in Jacksonville, Florida. I drove several trips over there. In the early going, when he wasn't too sick, I got a couple of we got a couple of rigs and did surf fishing over there at Brunswick, St. Simons Island and Jekyll Island. And uh, it was kind of ironic. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if you're still listening or not, but because we lived in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, you go over a block and we could get on Highway 82. 
And if she followed Highway 82, drove all day, all the way across Alabama and all the way across Georgia, it would take you to Brunswick, Georgia, and dump you out a couple of blocks away from the house where my son was living over there in Brunswick. So we made the driving trip a few times, but I mean, from Tuscaloosa, you got to go all the way across Alabama and all the way across Georgia. It's a heck of a drive, I'll tell you that. But we we did uh, quite a bit of surf fishing there before he started getting sick, and we brought him here to Cancer Treatment Centers of America. And um, boy, I tell you, that's been like an eternity ago. Well, let's see. I'm trying to think of anything else. That's about all I've been doing reading on deep subjects, but I don't get any revelation. Like, I've learned it. we got a couple of uh, satellites that look at different wavelengths of light. From that, they can discern a little difference about how, how far toward the edge of the universe they can see. We can't see the edge of the universe, but we're getting close, and the latest one we put up was capable of seeing a little closer to the boundary than the one before, and uh, it's, it's just, uh, I'm overwhelmed with a lot of stuff these days. The fastest thing we know is the speed of light, and we love that, that's our friend, but to say that what they can see with the telescopes now looking at this issue of the edge of the universe is the light's been traveling 13 to 13 and a half million years to reach the telescope, so... Uh, Makes us feel pretty teeny, itty bitty here, doesn't it? Okay, that's enough out of me, Kevin. Thank you for calling on me and running the net. You sound good down here, and hope to see you again real soon. Take care of yourself, there, old man. K4, no, W4AMI. Sorry, K4CWW. Take it away. Okay, Perry. Always good to hear you and, and visit with you when you can come by. Uh, you, you and the missus there, and. Uh, uh, good to hear you out of Fayetteville, Georgia, and thanks for being there. Alrighty, this is W4AMI, and this is the Tuesday night SAMRC Swap and Fellowship Net. Next on the list, we've got Manuel, my good friend down there from the tallest mountain in Florida. <laughs> KW4TV, take it away, Manuel. This is W4AMI. Okay, W4AMI, KW4TV. Well, thank you, Kevin. Mighty fine to be in here, and you're sounding great down this way. The band's kind of in bad condition. So I'm on the uh, Johnson 500 tonight with the R390 receiver. Well, uh, I've been able to copy everybody so far. Hope you're hearing me. And uh, we made a trip over to Pensacola today, and we had a doctor's appointment. And uh, we ran by and seen Mr. John, VZS, and had a apple fire for him to look at and uh, he kept it with him and uh, maybe he can nurse it back to hell. I don't know if I'm not more trouble for John than I'm not, but uh, <laughs> for some reason he still likes me. I don't know why. Maybe it's good that he likes more than me, but that's okay. Maybe he keeps up with us and uh, <laughs> he's a mighty fine fella. With all that, Kevin, I won't hold it up any more. I'm just telling you. It gives an old man out to go to Pensacola and back. And, uh, thanks again, John VZS. You're a trooper. KW4TV from the tallest mountain in Florida. Whoa. I got you next, Richard. That's uh, the uh, manual said he heard you in there, and you're next, so go ahead. Uh, and then I'll pick up WB0JZG after you, Richard, and then we'll take a standby and see if we got everybody and we can pick up some more. So, uh, Richard, go ahead and make one. Hope you're doing well down there in Florida. I know y'all got some great weather, and I think the I-10 curtain's down. W4WFL, W4AMI. Okay, this is W4WFL, and... and uh, yeah, we've been having some great weather down here. Been working in the garden, and uh, 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 we, we all, my uh, daughter, uh, uh, her dog had a bunch of puppies, eight puppies. I think we got seven of them right now, and I'm fighting them out of keeping them out of the garden. And uh, that's been my my biggest thing is is uh, 
keeping everything from getting trampled down. I hope we can get rid of these dogs pretty soon. So if anybody needs a dog, give me a call. We'll see if we can, maybe I can pay, pay somebody to take them. I don't know. <laughs> but other than that, everything is great. It's been great and, and, uh, and, uh, Always glad to add one more to the uh, to the roster. So uh, that's all I got here, Kevin, on the on the Villarica uh, Johnson Viking. It, she's she's doing her job. This is W4 WFL Pensacola. Well, okay, Richard. Yep, and that's another one, Mr. John VZF brought back to life, and uh, uh, one of many he's uh, got going. And the Villa Viking sounds fantastic. And uh, thanks for being there. All righty, next on the list, I've got WB0JZG. It's over to you for your comments. This is W4AMI. Hey, Richard, this is Kevin Hill from Pensacola. Thank you for being there, and uh, you was the tail gunner, and uh, which somebody has to be the tail gunner, and we're glad you are. But let me take a standby before we uh, see if anyone else wants to get on the list, and make sure we didn't leave anyone off the list, and then I'll take some um, uh, other people if they'd like to get on the roster this evening. If uh, you were on the list and got missed, I don't think we did, uh, please come at this time, and uh, this is W4AMI. Okay. Lenny, yeah, we called you, Lenny, but it was about 10 after, and I know you were checking in on the um, Georgia single sideband. Okay, um, and I'll get you, Lenny, next. Um, at this time, we'll take um, some uh, check-ins if you'd like to get on the uh, roster this evening for the Tuesday night SMRC Swamp Fellowship Net. Please come at this time. This is W4AMI. W4OLJ. Okay, there's Virgil. Good to hear you, Virgil. All right, let me go back up here and pick up Lenny. Uh, K4HUM, I know you're doing less because he called you about 10 after. That's about the time you did this uh, Georgia single side band. So over to you, Lenny, for your comments out of Barnesville, Georgia. This is W4AMI. W4AMI. Uh, I'm trying to uh, keep 
back up again here as we're closing out the list here. Let me go up there to Sweetwater, Tennessee and pick up Mr. Virgil. Virgil, hope you're having a good day. We got war here in uh, Villarica, though, about 72 degrees. It's uh, 67 now, but uh, over to you, Virgil, for your comments. This is W4AMI. W4AMI. Danette, this is W4OLJ. Okay, Kevin. You're doing a great job there, you and Sam both, just uh, coming in up here with beautiful signals, both of you. Well, everything's fine here in the valley today, beautiful day. I spent part of the day over here fiddling with an old uh, R380, R389 Collins receiver and uh, trying to get it uh, working a little better. And then we got out and uh, rode around a little bit in the sunshine. Stopped by and got a milkshake and rode around some more, and uh, that's that's about uh, about our day there, Kevin. But it was a good one. And then we come back here and uh, listened to all these good signals on on the band. So you can't beat a day like that. That's about all we got. We we really enjoy it, and uh, thanks for uh, thanks for doing it, there, Kevin. You and Sam. W4AMI. This is W4OLJ in Sweetwater. Well, okay, Virgil. Always good to hear you. you got a beautiful signal as always. Great audio and just a big signal out of Sweetwater up there, and Sweetwater, Tennessee. A good friend. Alrighty, that's the list as I have it. Um, everyone, um, we appreciate everybody participating this evening in the SAMRC Swap and Fellowship Net. Uh, we'll meet again here next Tuesday on 3885. Uh, we'll have the pre-net at 630. Uh, Alan will be hosting that in 4 and Stan will be net control at uh, 7 o'clock Eastern, 6 o'clock Central. And, again, if you'd like to uh, check out and see what the uh, Southeastern AM Radio Club Swap Net is all about, uh, go to the uh, website, w4ami.org. Lots and lots of information there, and um, this is a great site. Uh, and also, please join the uh, W4GCM um, Net. That'll be on Thursday on 3885 kilocycles in the AM mode at 7 o'clock Eastern, 6 o'clock Central. 
And then uh, Sunday will roll around. If you can get up at 6 a.m., the Florida a.m. net, the Warren Elliott net, will meet there on Sunday. And then back around to Monday, we'll have the Eagle a.m. net at 3885. And it starts at uh, 7 o'clock Eastern, 6 o'clock Central. And then obviously this one's Tuesday night to be um, the SAMRC Swap and Fellowship net again. Uh, at this time, I'd like to thank each and every one of y'all that joined this evening. Had a great net. Man, we're a little tough, but um, we got through it just fine. Good long list, and, um, and I'll send it over to uh, Sam, see if he wants to tie the ribbons on it. Uh, again, thank you again. Uh, this is W4AMI, and my call is WA4KM. My name's Kevin. I'm located in Villarica, Georgia. That's West Georgia in the city of gold. So, Sam, over to you. Uh, see if you got anything else. Enjoyed it and uh, looking forward to doing it again. KF4TXQ, WA4KM. Mighty fine, Kevin. Me too. I've been looking forward to it also. And, uh, boy, you got a great signal. did a great job with the pre-net and the closing out the net and we just have to rock along and do the best we can with it but I believe we got a pretty good format going it seems to work all right and uh, hey don't question success just smile and go on with it but anyway uh, while I got the mic here I want to put out my quest again for I want a Johnson 275 watt matchbox especially with a case I need one with a case I got plenty of parts but I need the case. I need to put one in the box so it'll shield itself from, from uh, any coupling between the uh, exciter, which is a 7300, and the grids of the 813s over here next door in Little Hoss. And I've also got a clone to Little Hoss here I'm putting together. And I'll have this thing ready to check out one of these days soon. But I'm not pushing it, like I say. I'm, I'm just doing it gradually and so forth. But... Uh, Oh, it's been fun to be on this net with everybody. I'll tell you right now, I'm looking forward to supper time. So anyway, I don't know about y'all, but when I grew up, uh, any time you ate when it was getting dark, that was supper time. Dinner, uh, you know, dinner's when the big meal happens at dark. And, uh, you know, of course, uh, a lot of people would say that dinner is, is a big meal at night. But anyway, that's just the way it goes. Isn't culture a wonderful thing? <laughs> How things got to be the way they are. But I guess it all depends on who's cooking. And uh, when somebody's cooking, don't be late to the table. All right. Everybody uh, have a good a good week and a good evening tonight. And uh, I still got a nice hammer in 145X general cover receiver that I'd like to trade off to somebody and uh, I, I'm just hooked on these uh, 7300s and that's the heart of my station so what I need to do is I need to get me another one so I need to divest myself of all this stuff that I've got that's not essential to the operation of the station so anyway this is Kilo Fox 4 Tango X Tray Quebec, Dadeville, Alabama 73 is one and all it's been a privilege to be on the net with you guys. What a great bunch of folks. And uh, 73 is one and all. diddly da de da Thanks again, Kevin. Over, over. Good job, Sam. Same to you, Roy. Thank you, Roy. Roy Eagle. Roy Eagle, Kevin. Mighty good. Uh, give, give me a shout over there, uh, Lenny. Uh, my call at, at uh, charter.net. Roger, Roger, Sam. Oh, well, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that is a little ways away, but uh, we may be able to work something out. Anyway, uh, catch y'all later, k 4 h Diddly da de da. Uh, was it solid? Mr. Eddie Brown, if uh, you're still that lurking, I need to be number 300. That's the uh, other. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll catch up later. K4H1 for clear of the free. KF4TXQ.
Q, Dadeville, Alabama, is clear, 3885. Over, over. THQ, you copy WB zero J Z G. Hey Kevin, I I do have a copy on you. Not real good. The uh, I-10 curtain is is down, but you know how it is. But uh, anyway, I hear you and uh, hope everything's good down on the peninsula. You're halfway down the peninsula, I think. Uh, but anyway. This is KF4TXQ. Thanks for the shout, Kevin. Thank you, Gary. Yeah, I'm kind of a long ways down. I'm down at Port Pierce. That's way down the peninsula. Um, probably more than halfway. And, uh, you know, it, it, the, the next truck is getting really for me. The band's really starting to open up now. Seven threes, it's always good to hear you, Sam. Um, and, uh, that's just the way the band is now. We're getting into summertime, and uh, even if there's no static, uh, the sun's up too late. J4CXQ, WB0JZT. Kevin, I guess if I call me portable, if you will, in Fort Pierce, Florida. 73s, Kevin. Appreciate the shout. You have a good week. This is KF4TXQ, Dadeville, Alabama. Clear on 3885. Diddly da dee da. KW4TV is clear. Boy, you go right back at you.
Zero to Fred I hear someone calling in one somebody or other W B four K Z K.
think by chance you're the one that said G? I, I'm having a little trouble copying it. It's kind of really in the end thing there. Go ahead. Copy too. Well, the sun is barely even now, so it sounds like my antennae is working, and that's what I've been trying to figure out. I've got some bad connections somewhere along the way. I got to revamp all this. Kind of a pain in the behind, uh, but uh, thanks for working. For this early in the evening, it's uh, eight o'clock, so the sun is probably just going down, and your signal across now. Your gray line is such. Uh, that uh, you're probably, yeah, you're in the dark already. And we've been dark maybe for a little bit. But uh, I can hear you. I'm surprised. We, your, your light not light up there, man. Maybe it's working equal both ways. Then what else, MG? Let me be sure. Okay, thank you.